So we are back at it again, doing some reviews. And this time we're gonna be doing another review of a ballet wallet that has just came out. Now, I'm hoping that you like the new angle that I have here as I am hunched over looking up to a camera just for you all. I know me personally, I just needed to do something a little bit more different, um, seeing how it's a new year and we have a new product to review. So the new product that Ballet has graciously let me review is this, the Ballet Coin. Now, looking at this, what's interesting about this coin um, is that they have the QR code on the back. I'm not gonna show you all that because um, don't need you all dipping into my funds. But um, I don't think that the funds can be actually leaked if I show you that QR code. That QR code is actually just providing you the uh, address, the public address of this coin here, which has 0 0.001 Bitcoin. And another feature that I really like about this physical coin here is that it's actually made out of copper. So let's say Bitcoin goes to zero, then I can take this physical coin here and sell it um, because copper is actually worth something. Um, Bitcoin is too, but um, I feel like hardened metals will always be worth something. Ah, nice. Um, and this is not the first time that ballet has actually did this. Uh, actually, uh, I have another ballet uh, wallet that is covered in 24 karat gold. So ballet um, is very, very uh, used to using hard metals with their wallets. And I feel like that is something that other wallet providers should be offering because it's just a great little feature just in case something bad happens to crypto. Trillion dollars. And now the mark, oh, oh, it went to zero. Now, obviously this is very similar to their other wallets that they have and how it's used on the ballet app. But one thing that I want to highlight again is the ballet security, because again, not your keys, not your crypto. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. And with this, your keys are on this coin here but you must remove the tamper evident sticker in order to access your private key. And it's not actually your private key, it's like your private key code and your passphrase. And then again, you must combine these two to get your actual private key. So even your private key takes a little bit of work to get off of this coin here, but it's all worth it in the name of security. No. All right, now let's hop onto this and use the ballet wallet to access our Bitcoin on our physical coin. All right, so we're at our app here. Um, I have a couple cards, obviously. And what you're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and scan the back of your coin. Then you wanna just confirm that your address is the same as the coin. And it is for me, you click transfer if you wanna send coin. Um, here, uh, it's very simple. You can either paste the address or you can scan a QR code. Um, in this case, I believe I'm going to just scan a QR code to send off some Bitcoin. I'm gonna send all of it. Um, and when you press next here, uh, I actually skipped it because it would expose my um, passphrase and my passcode, but you wanna put that in. You just remove the stuff off the back of the coin. It's very simple. And then once you get to here, you should be able to send your coin. And it's just that simple. Send, done, transaction sent. Nothing to worry about here. You can obviously verify the addresses and you're good to go. Um, it also shows you the history of your transactions right over here. Um, you can also copy your address if you want to send some Bitcoin to your coin. Um, and it also has the option to uh, show you how many coins you have, just like it shows you how many cards you have. And you know what? One cool thing about this review is Ballet let me sort of say whatever the heck I want to say, which makes this review truly authentic. Um, it makes it a true FF review, like plenty of my other reviews. Um, and I really appreciate that, Ballet. 
Um, there's one thing that they also uh, probably didn't explicitly say that I, I should say in this video, but I'm going to tell you anyways. So listen in here. Um, they gave me a little note saying that if I did not want to keep this, I couldn't give it away. And I understand why they're saying that because this actual uh, metal here, again, is worth some money. And um, just to give away that Bitcoin just willy nilly to uh, my subscribers uh, doesn't make business sense to them. So they did say that if I didn't want it, I could I could obviously keep this because I might tamper with the private keys. So they don't want me to just give them the whole thing back. But if I wanted to give the Bitcoin back, I could. And I have a little feeling in the back of my head that this is like a Willy Wonka experiment that we're doing here where, you know, Charlie gives back the gobstopper to Willy Wonka and Willy Wonka's like, oh, you can have the whole factory because you gave me back a gobstopper. So in essence of Willy Wonka, I will send them their 0 0.001 Bitcoin back in hopes that maybe someday they'll give me the whole company. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the review of the Ballet Physical Coin Wallet. Um, I enjoyed it myself because I was able to take all my creative liberties and just do what I do best, which is just blabber. And if you really like this video, please put a comment below. Uh, also subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And thumbs down, thumbs up. I really don't care what you do because over here, Anything is a F. Peace. You lose. Good day, sir.